meet Earth. You know her quite well. She's in fact the only planet you'll ever know. You probably also know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, that the moon is a star, and that rainforests are one of the most biodiverse ecosystem on Earth. You know that oceans are salty, and that rain comes from evaporation. All these, and many more, are facts you know. Facts as much as the fact that the word Earth in French, la Terre, is the same for planet and for soil. These facts, these things you're told to know and have to know, you know, they'll never really teach you about her. You can read all the books, watch all the shows, you can study at university and wear a suit, it really makes no difference. The only way you'll ever connect and understand her is by going outside and opening your eyes. I'd like to ask you something. When is the last time you observed an ant? When did you last smell a flower or looked for shapes in the clouds and marveled at the sheer ingenuity of this world? When is the last time you wondered things such as, how does a full tree grow? from a single seed? And where do all the fish go in the winter? When is it that we started forgetting that all life is a gift? Was it our phones, our computers? Was it the new sneakers we wanted because everyone had them? And you know, maybe it's not even about when, but how really. How could we let that happen? Everything we see, touch, and taste, and do every single day is a product of two simple elements, sun and water. The oceans and the trees create the oxygen we breathe, and without them, life as we know it on Earth would be impossible. This, this is not a threat. It's maybe a warning. A warning that says, do not forget about her. You'll die eventually, and when that day comes, you don't want to think to yourself, I never knew the name of the one tree in my backyard. <laughs>